Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Um, today we will be learning about theorem number 14 and theorem number 16. You will notice it's skipped because theorem number 15 is somewhat different. And this is theorem number 15. Okay, it, it, it talks mainly about concyclic quadrilaterals. Uh, acyclic quadrilaterals. But ayan, um, theorem 14 and 16 are somewhat, uh, they are really related because theorem 16 is just simply the converse of theorem 14 being opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary okay and of course the converse would be if the opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary then the quadrilaterals are uh, is cyclic meaning you can create um using the vertex of the quadrilateral your circle okay so first of all um let's define itong theorem number 14 okay um, when we talk about um, supplementary, okay, it just simply means that the angles are um, have the sum of 180 degrees. So meaning this um, oh this is not theta theta they are not necessarily congruent. Okay, maybe let's change this one. Maybe it, it look confusing. So let's use the symbol um say beta theta um this one and I don't know I think that's alpha and what else do we use? Maybe let's just use A. Yeah. Yeah. So, meaning, if I add theta plus A, the answer would be 180 degrees. And if I add beta and... I think this is alpha. I don't know. Uh, the answer would be 180 degrees as well. So, meaning the sum is always 180. If and only if your given quadrilateral has the vertex on the circumference of the circle. Okay? So, for us to have a better understanding of this one, let's go to the algebra again. So, I have created this one um, for you to see. Um, we have this circle. So, the first thing that you will notice when it comes to theorem number 14 is that the circle would be given. And, of course, you can create any four points there in your given um, circle and create your quadrila quadrilateral. And you, have, you can check whether the opposite angles are really supplementary or not. So, say we have this given. Even if I will rotate it... Um, anywhere oops, sorry anywhere within the circle or even if i make the circle bigger or what okay um the opposite angles are always supplementary so what do we mean by opposite angle so we have this angle c right let me um use a pen okay this is angle c and then the opposite angle would be of course here yeah nandito sa kabila which is of course angle i think this is uh, angle e yeah okay angle e is um your opposite angle and if you would notice this is 80.13 this is 80.13 for angle c and then for angle um, e angle e it's just equals to 99.87 so if we will try to add them together adding them together will give us exactly exactly this is some um, nine nine point um this is nine and 179 okay so it's 179.99 or as uh, it could be rounded off as 180 degrees and the same goes for our angle b it's not seen here hindi kita masyado but we and also we have angle b d and angle um b is 92 degrees and angle d is 88 and 92 plus 88 you will give it will give you 180 degrees proves the point it proves the point that again, any given um, cyclic quadrilateral will have the opposite angles as a supplementary angles. Okay, so let me undo this. So even if you will try to rescale our um, figure, rescale, wait, let me undo yung ating points. Okay, even if you will try to rescale this one, and of course, um, probably you want to change this one. Adding the opposite angles will always give you 100. 80 degrees 180 and lagi. so even if you twist and turn like that okay so that would be theorem number 14 now let's go back to theorem number 16 ang theorem number 16 meaning the converse it just simply states that if your given quadrilateral have opposite angles as supplementary then the quadrilateral can create a circle ganun na lang let's put it like that kung sakasakali na magkakaroon ka ng quadrilateral that will have the opposite angles as supplementary 
then you can create a circle using the vertices okay so let's um let's try to draw that in our figure okay sige. um what i will do here is i will create angle sizes muna. okay and say we have 100 here yeah. and then um from this point uh this point to this point maybe let's create I'm like, I don't know, let's try, try, let's try 70. Oh, no, no, no. I think it should be clockwise. Counterclockwise, yeah, 70. Okay, so we have 170 here. And what else? Um, wait long, uh, no, 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 not there. Okay, here, para here. Let's create 70 here. Oops, clockwise again. So there you go. We have 170, and on this point, and since this is 100, we need to have 80 here, right? So from this point to this point, uh, maybe it's clockwise again. We need to have 80 here. And, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we have this given points now. We have this given point. So uh, what I will do now is I will create straight lines from this point so that I can maintain my angles, okay? Yeah. And of course, from this point, to this point yeah because this would create 100 degrees 70 degrees and 80 degrees and of course this last point here the point of intersection that would be the last point of my vertex and let me create the line segments just to be sure yeah okay we have our line segments now and i will try to hide the line um hide not in the object itself yeah and also let's hide the object here Let's hide the straight lines. Yeah. And then you will notice that we have created a quadrilateral. Okay, and let me hide this one again. Okay, so we have created a quadrilateral with 100 degrees for angle K. Um, K prime is 80 degrees. Um, J is 70. And this one, this L, we don't know. So let's try to find the measure of the angle. The measure of the angle will actually be 110 degrees. Okay. So this is 110, 170, and 80. And let's try to check. One opposite angles is angle K and K prime. 100 plus 80 is 180, correct? Next, opposite angles is angle L and angle J. So 110 plus 70 is 180 still. Now the the thing about this one is sabi, if you would have this um kind of quadrilateral where in the opposite vertices or opposite angles will have um call this will have will create a circle with the vertices let's try to create a circle using three points one you can have multiple points yeah. and you will notice that creating the circle using these three points k j and k will include also l again the meaning of concyclic means the quadrilateral or cyclic means the quadrilateral vertices would be on the circumference of the circle so you will notice L, K, K prime, and J is on the circumference of the circle. And this is just one way of creating a circle in GeoGebra. You can create circle using three points. Let's have this one too. You will see it's always on the circumference. Okay, And that would be theorem number 16. That if you would have any quadrilateral having um, this uh, measurements, uh, opposite angles as 180 degrees all opposite angles then you are you have a cyclic quadrilateral okay maybe let's create another one just to just to show you guys now it's always true for any kind of ano. let's have say um, say 64 degrees yeah, 64 degrees so we will work with what we have right now and then for this one let's have an angle that is I think it's clockwise should be clockwise 123 um, oh no no it's should be the other way around 123 yeah yeah okay and um for this one it should be 123 what should be the sum uh, what should be added to 123 to get um to get 180 so sorry I, I'm kind of bad in Okay, it should be 57 so let's create our angle here being 57 degrees yeah so we have this given oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it correct? okay so again let's try to create the line hopefully we have um 
correct measurements. Uh, no, 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 let me undo that. It's too small. Maybe let's, uh, no, maybe, maybe let's collect these points first. And here. Okay, and this one to here. And let's find the uh, the last point that will create that will give us an uh, um that will give us that 57 degrees. So let me create an angle again. Angle. Yeah, this one. Should be somewhere. I think. Should be somewhere here in this line. So okay, let's have it. No, let's not have it there. Let's have it here. Oh, sorry. Let me click this one have it somewhere here 57 degrees clockwise yes there you go okay now let's create line segments uh, lines yeah. so yeah uh, this is a uh, hopefully this is a quadrilateral one two okay so yeah. now let's connect the segments this one to this one this one we have a point here remember but let me create a point first here on the intersection there you go okay let's create the line segments again this one to this one, and this one to this one, and this one to this one. Now let's hide the lines. I mean the the straight lines, because it's a bit yung lines. Shadow is ano obstruct. Medyo na ka obstruct sa vision. Okay, now we have this given. Let's try to find the measure of the angles on our this side. Um, should be from this to this. No, no, no. It's the other way around. This to this one. Okay, so yeah. Um, that's sixty-four plus 116.22 I think we did something wrong here okay yeah so the sum here is 100 uh, 180.22 so still when you round off it would go um, to 180 and then we have 123 plus 57 180 still so let's try to create our circle through three points one two three yeah still again you will notice that our given is a cyclic quadrilateral because of course the points of the vertices here on the quadrilateral will lie on our given circle okay and this is by creating lang po Ayan. Oh, the, using these three points still we have on the circumference okay so this again proves the point that any given quadrilateral that will have the opposite angles as um, supplementary angles then the quadrilateral will be cyclic okay so that would be all if you would have any question for our um, topic for today um, you can uh, rely on the video or of course you can chat me in our group thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh